This week, I prepare for future projects, work on a project for Mellow Mushroom, and print my final edition of Bunny Money. Good Monday morning. It is Monday, February 17th, and I'm about to start my week. So this week I want to do a couple of things, do a little bit more than just focus on one project. But one of the big things I want to do is see how this is, how this prints up. So I want to print this and then the gorilla that is titled 10 and 2 from vlog 1. I want to print the additions for both of those. And then I'm going to start working on a couple pieces like this again. Um, so I've got, I think, eight of those that I'm going to get started this week. And then I want to paint the cactuses that I carved two weeks ago. And then maybe even carve this big cactus this week. I also want to carve up some small, the small blocks that I sketched for last week. The, a turtle and a shark, perhaps. And then I have a couple, I, I have, and then I have a couple ideas in my head. Um, I've got a flamingo idea for another large block and uh, some a, a falcon idea for a smaller block. So I'm going to want to sketch those out, get those on paper as well, so I can start on those in another week. So that's what I'm going to work on this week. First things first is I want to get these pieces ready so that when I decide I want to work on them, I don't have to go and cut wood and paint. So it's going to be the first thing I do so I don't have to wait on them later in the week. Do you remember the wood I cut out last week? I've got all that. Uh, set aside for this project I'm working on right now, which is like the comp pieces I showed you earlier on the screen right now. Boop. Pieces like that. So what I what I'm gonna do is I'm going I got a list of the blocks that I want to print on those. I'm going to plan out right now, depending on which direction the blocks are looking. I like to have the design looking inward on designs generally. And then I'm gonna plan out what shapes they're going to be cut into and then treat the blocks as needed, depending on if I'm gonna spray paint them, stain them, uh, print on them, carve them, whatever I'm gonna do with them. So I need to plan those out right now. So I've got eight of these planned. I've got two blocks that are just going to be uh, prints on wood style, just smaller prints on wood. So that's what these are gonna be. I don't know what's gonna go on here yet, um, but I'll figure that out later. I will print them with an acrylic wash today, so they'll be ready to print whenever I decide. But I've got eight blocks ready. This one's gonna have a unicorn. This one's going to have the hula hooping rhino. This one's gonna have the octopus with swords since he's a little bit wider design. It's gonna have a wider spread on it. This one's gonna be the flying pig. The flying pig has elements on the top and the bottom. He's got the pig on the bottom and the wings up top. So it needs to be a little bit uh, larger piece. So that's why I picked this one for the flying pig piece. It's going to be, be the landscape turtle since he's also a very wide block. So I'm, and then I've got three larger blocks that I'm going to print my tall tail design on, the sloth rocket, and my vulture. So that's what I'm going to work on. I got, I have my protractor. This is a compass, right? I forget. I'll look it up and put it right here. This is a boop, boop, boop. So I've got my, I've got that and a straight edge to draw my shapes onto the wood here so that I, I can cut them out on my scroll saw. I've drawn out a couple different shapes on these woods to cut out a couple different types of designs, transitions between the printed sides and the carved sides. So let's cut those out in the scroll saw now. So now that I have all of these random pieces of loose wood floating around, I've got to label the backs of them so I know what each one is. So this one specifically is for my tall tail print. I'm just going to call this, you know, A. I'm just, on the back of them, I'm just going to write A for each one. I'm going to do the same for each consecutive block. I'm just going to letter them A, A, B, 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 C, 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 D, D, D. All of that, just so I don't get confused and put them into a pile on the table, middle of my dusty room. Now that I've got all of these pieces cut out, I'm just going to put a thin acrylic wash over the surface of all of them so that they make nice surfaces to paint on, print on, spray paint on, do whatever I'm gonna do with them. I've pulled out all the pieces that I'm going to carve on and I'm gonna treat those differently than I would if I was going to be painting them. So I sat down to draw a panda for the little blocks that I want a car for the hat designs and for the patch designs. 
um, to go with the turtle that I drew last week. And this is what I came up with. Just a little round floppy little panda. So I'm going to draw those out onto um, a piece of wood now so I can start carving it. Since these ones are so small, I'm not gonna use my projector. I'm gonna use some transfer paper, just some, some graphite transfer paper. The cool thing about this stuff, if you don't really know, it is infinitely reusable. Um, I mean, maybe not infinitely, but you can see that there are little uh, previous drawings on this piece of transfer paper. So you can just be, pretty much use it forever and ever and ever. So real simple, I've just drawn out these, printed out the little sketches that I did to the size that I want to carve them at. They're each two and a half inches tall. And then I'm going to slide some tracing paper underneath them. I've taped down this one side. I'm gonna tape down this other side onto a piece of wood. All I need to do now is trace the image. It will be, re it will be transferred to the wood. And just like that, the image is transferred to the wood. I turned these two small little sketches into woodcuts. And I should have a printing day coming up here real soon with all the stuff I've got ready to go. So maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I wanna sketch one or two more things and then print it out. Speaking of sketching, I'm gonna work on this falcon. It's Tuesday morning now. Um, so I did end up sketching the, the falcon that I said I was gonna sketch. When I was drawing it though, I realized that I um I don't really have anything to print it on yet. And I'm just, I think I'm probably just procrastinating printing everything else I need to print. So today I will be printing. Um, I've got, I've got the little panda and turtle that I want to print out a couple of. So actually I need canvas. So I'm gonna go get some, some canvas today too. And then I've got all of the pieces of wood that I got ready yesterday. So I'm going to go print those too. So today's a printing day. I'm not going to worry about carving out this falcon. I gotta, I gotta print all of those things. And I have to print, I'm just looking at it now. I have to print the buddy money and I have to print the 10 and two gorilla. That is what I'm going to do today. I'm back from the store. I ended up getting some uh, linen to print the little patches on. So I'm going to print those right now. And I've got the other boards ready to print too. So I'm going to print those in this little session too. These are the two little patches that I'm going to print. So I've got the two little blocks inked up and ready to go. I'm going to run them through in the same pass just so it's less work for me. So I've got a piece of uh, just chipboard. All I'm going to do is I've got the piece of fabric on top of the chipboard. And I'm using the chipboard to like give the fabric something to push down into. I'll put the two blocks on top and I'm just gonna slowly run it through. It's hard to tell if the pressure is right unless you just go ahead and print it. So I haven't tested this one yet. I pushed it down so it was biting pretty hard. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna let those dry and then I'll cut them out later. But I am pretty happy with how those came out. The patches are printed and now I'm gonna move on to printing the little cutout pieces for the, for the compilation pieces like this, those ones. So I'm gonna print those now. I don't quite have enough time to pull the additions of the prints that I wanted to work on. So I'm just gonna show you these and then move on and find something else to work on. But I wanted to show you these first before I did that. It's Wednesday now and last night I spent some time uh, turning the designs that the small little patch designs that I did into embroidered hat designs. I'm no expert on it, so I'm not going to show the process on how I did that quite yet. Maybe eventually um, I'm still really learning this process, but I took these prints that I printed off the blocks and I only did the panda so far and I turned it into uh, an embroidered pattern. And it's not quite finished. I still need to work on some stabilization stuff. I'm going to try to get this embroidered in the next day or so. I've also, last night, I spent time finishing this cuttlefish design. And I will put this on the embroidery machine today. And hopefully it comes out successful. But before I do any of that, I am going to cut out some paper for the two additions that I want to pull today. 
Those additions being Bunny Money, of course, number one. So, gotta get this going. And my 10 and 2 Gorilla. So, I'm gonna work on printing these. I'm just gonna do 10 of each and then I'm gonna move forward from there with working on little patches. So I've got a stack of about five or six sheets of Reeves BFK uh, printmaking paper right here. And I'm gonna show you how I cut them up. So I'm just working on a, a folding table that I use to cut everything up on. You can see that it's not, it doesn't have the best surface to it because I cut, I use, I use blades to cut into everything on this table. So I'm going to, um, first I'm gonna find the watermark on this paper. You see how there's uh, a watermark right there that says Reeves BFK? So it's in the top left hand corner of this sheet of paper. I like to remove that so I don't even have to worry about it being on my paper that I'm using. The paper is going to be 18 by 24 inches. I'm going to measure from the bottom of the decal. I like to keep the, the deckled edge on the paper. So I'm going to measure from the bottom of the decal and I'm just going to use the smallest little mark 18 by 24. So the long side needs to be 24 inches. Bottom of the decal, 24 inches. Smallest little mark. You probably can't even see that mark on camera. And then I'm gonna line my roof straight edge up to that mark. And I'm gonna use a really sharp blade and I'm going to cut it. Like I said, there's about five or six sheets of paper here. My goal when I cut this isn't to go through them all at once. I'm gonna use sl uh, controlled movements, not pushing down super hard, but a little bit firm. So I go through layer by layer. And that way you get a clean edge. Just like that. So that's the 24 side. And now I gotta measure 18. All right. And now we've got 18 by a couple 18 by 24 inch sheets of paper. The moment we've been waiting for, it's time to ink up this block. So first I gotta charge my roller. And here we go. All right, so all I'm doing now is I am lining up this sheet of paper with the piece of paper that's taped onto the press bed and just making sure it's straight as I put it down. So the block's in the middle of the, in the press, the paper's on the top of the block lined up perfectly to the paper underneath. Roll the paper through the press until I hit that point. Pull the paper up, bring the plastic back and slowly roll the block through the press. I printed about 12 of the Bunny Money prints, and now I'm working on printing the Gorilla in a Car print. It's called 10 and 2. Pull the plastic back and roll the print through the press. I'm using the same process to print this. It's only just, it's just a simpler block to print just because there's less surface area. Get my little protective sheet of paper, top and bottom, pull it off. And there you have it. Now that I'm done printing, I'm going to check to see if the cuttlefish design that I designed last night is good for embroidering. But I'm just going to start embroidering this on my machine. This particular design is going to take 35 minutes, so I'm just going to unlock the machine and go. <laughs> That's finished and it's looking pretty sharp. Look at that. Um, so I'm gonna get the a couple of these going more tonight and then I'll start with the panda tomorrow. It is Thursday now and change of plans. So about a couple months ago, I was commissioned to do some restroom signs for a mellow mushroom that is opening up locally here in the Atlanta area. It's on Johnson's Ferry Road up in Marietta, I believe, East Cobb. That restaurant is opening this weekend and they are having a uh, 
kind of like an opening friends and family party that I has have been invited to, which is great. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm, I'm excited to go. But last minute, I was called and asked to do two of their Mellow Mushroom characters as carvings as a commission piece for their CEO and founder of Mellow Mushroom to be presented to them on Saturday night. The next two days are gonna be me working on these and getting them done for Saturday. All the plans that I had up until this point are gone out the window. I need to get these done and dry and ready to present on Saturday. The restroom signs, one was a caterpillar and one was a butterfly and hopefully I can get a picture of them this weekend and put them in here and here. I had a lot of fun working on these. Um, I haven't posted these anywhere at all. I should probably do that. So. so I finished prepping the blocks, drawing them out on the wood, cutting out the birch on my scroll saw, spray painting all the edges, doing everything I need to do for these two mellow blocks to be ready by Saturday. Now all I got left to do is to carve them and to paint them, which is the longest part of the whole process, but that's where I am. Let's go. I've got the first mushroom carved, and now I just need to work on the second one, and then I can paint them tonight. It's just after one o'clock here, and I have finished the mellow mushroom carvings. I purposely took the first one, which is this one, off the carving desk when I finished it, so I didn't reference it and make the same carving marks on the second one. Even though they're gonna be very similar, because they're based off of the same drawing, I wanted them to have differences and uniquenesses to them, so they weren't exactly the same. So these are finished carving. Since it's so late, I am not going to be painting these tonight. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do them, but I will uh, do it first thing in the morning and then ink them up tomorrow afternoon and hopefully that's enough time for them to dry enough for Saturday night. So I'm gonna call it a night and get back to work on these tomorrow morning. It's Friday. So I gotta paint the two mellow mushroom guys and then also I'm gonna use this time to paint the two cactuses that I have sitting in here too. So I can ink all four of them at the same time. finished the paintings of these mellow guys and while I was at it I went ahead and painted these two cactuses as well so I have the two cactuses ready to ink up and the two mellow guys ready to ink up And just like that, these four pieces are finished. The dinosaur cactus, the bunny and the cactus, and the two mellow mushroom guys. All done. 
And now it's working its way into late Friday afternoon, so I'm gonna call this vlog completed for the week. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please comment, subscribe, do all those like nice things. Hit that thumbs up, like button. I'll see y'all next week. So one more thing I wanted to add, if you're out this week in Atlanta, I will be at ABV Gallery in the Old Fourth Ward uh, on Wednesday, February 26th. So if you want to come out and see me, you can see me there. I'll be carving a block and that block will be put up for auction at the end of the end of the night. Thanks. Have a great week. Bye. I've cut out. Uh... <laughs>